Setting up a gerbil tank doesn't have to break the bank. There are a number of ways you can keep costs down by shopping smartly, reusing and recycling. The first thing that will save you money is reusing old bedding. You can keep up to a third of their previous bedding to put back in. This is also important for keeping some of their old scent to help them feel more secure. You can also use cardboard boxes as hides, as long as there's multiple exits, especially for bonded pairs. And if you don't have any appropriately sized plain boxes, you can always make your own hides using flower glue. You can also reuse old hides from their enclosure if they're not too destroyed. And the Woodbridge hides you can also get pretty cheaply new. And if you happen to get any of these paper pulp packaging pieces, they make excellent hides and great chew toys too. And don't forget about cardboard tubes. I always like to set up a tunnel to give the gerbs an easy route underground. And if the tubes are narrow, make sure to cut them so the gerbils can't get stuck. Then I add some of their food and a bunch of chew toys underground for them. Dandelion roots are pretty cheap and the gerbils love them. Where'd it go? You can also reuse old chew toys or remnants of chew toys from your previous setup. I always try to salvage as much as I can. Hay is great to use in durable setups, and you can find meadow hay really cheaply in some stores. Another good way to keep costs down is with vouchers or loyalty clubs from your local pet store. I got a pound off this Carefresh with a voucher. Every little helps. And on the topic of cheap bedding, Megazool works out to be very cost efficient. I have found it smells a bit like a farm though, and it's pretty dusty initially, but the gerbils haven't been bothered by it. This giant 85 litre bag I got from Amazon for only £17, but I have heard that you can get it for as low as £10 in farm or equine stores. And it makes great tunnels. Also be sure to use up any leftover bags of bedding you may have lying around. I like to add an extra layer of old bedding in the middle for my bonded pairs just to make sure there's plenty of their scent all throughout the enclosure. Then I just add more layers of the other beddings before adding a final layer of old bedding on top and some more selfish chew toys and a sprinkling of edible flowers. Then it's time to add the topper. Most of these chew toys I got really cheaply from my local pet store. The hanging toys were £3.50 and £5 each, and the carrots were only £2 for two. The foraging toy is from my online store, so I got the owner's discount on that one. <laughs> and the toilet roll was free from my bathroom. Even without the cost factor, toilet roll is a great addition to gerbil enclosures. They love it. They rip it up and use it to build their nests with, so it's great enrichment for them. Oh, is that fun just doing all that toilet roll? Yeah. Then we need to add a sand bath and a water source. I also like to add slate pieces to their topper to help wear down their claws. These I got free from the garden centre. I also add some cork bark to the topper for extra textures and something else to chew. You can also make your own hanging toy using a kebab and some old pieces of toys. You can also pick up popsicle sticks pretty cheaply and drill holes in them to add to your kebab. Or you can use cardboard. Although they won't last long, shreddable toys can be pretty cheap too. Then it's finally time to add the gerbils and see what they think. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. <laughs> And if you're looking for more ways to save money with your gerbil care, I have a whole playlist of low cost DIYs you can make for your gerbils, including how I made my enclosure and how to make free and cheap DIY toys for gerbils. So click on that and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.